Hello, this is Dwayne Nickel of Technorical Advanced Systems. This is the fifth video in a series learning how to use Flash Builder out of the Adobe CS6 package. In this series of lessons, we're going to explore one of the most used components from the whole Flex framework, and that is the data grid. If you're a Flex programmer, sooner or later, you're going to come across a project that requires the use of a data grid especially if you're working within the context of business. Let's get started, shall we? Start by selecting File from the top menu, New, Flex Project, and I'm going to call mine Data Grid Example. I'm going to choose mine to run in Adobe Air. And again, my Flex SDK version may be different than yours. As long as it's higher than 4, you don't need to worry about anything. And you can click Finish. Once the project is set up, you'll find that we have the source code view available. I'm going to switch to the design code view. And you'll notice that under the components, under the controls folder, there is a couple of data grids. One is the advanced data grid, which we'll look at later in this series of videos. For now, we want to use the basic data grid. So I invite you to drag and drop a basic data grid onto your Flex project. You can resize your Flex data grid simply by dragging and dropping the corner of it. I want mine to be centered in the middle of my application. So I'm going to start by going to the layout and setting it to the horizontal zero, and setting the margins of the left and right to a value of 40 pixels. We'll bind it to the top by 40 as well. Now at this point, the data grid has no values for it. It's just spread itself out. It's important to take a look at the source code view to see what's happening. The data grid component is demarcated within this block of MXML. You'll notice that by default, there are three columns. There's a first column, and the grid column is called data field one, and it's got a header text of column one. Data field 2 as a column 2 header, data field 3 as a column 3 header. There are also what's called typical items. We'll get to those a little bit later. And then there is an array list as well. And the array list is a data provider object. It's of type FX object, and it contains data field 1, data field 2, data field 3. These are laid out to help you understand the basics of the data grid. In the next of the series of lessons, we'll go through and we'll start changing some of these to understand what the data grid is doing and what parts of the data grid can be changed to show you which one of these fields corresponds to what you see on the uh, design view.